up guys more medic one and today we have a steel four cycle four mix engine on the bench it's the uh fc 95 which is a straight shaft uh stick edger and what we're going to be doing today is doing a uh, valve adjustment we need to get these valves set on this engine and i'm going to show you guys how to do it correctly per the book go ahead and remove the engine cover just two screws one there one there and one on the back and if you don't have you one of those little infrared uh heat guns what i normally do it has worked great in the past what they want you to do though is they don't want you to adjust the valves when the engine is completely cold you need to put a little bit of heat in the motor and they want this engine about 180 degrees fahrenheit but what you can do you can get real close just crank it up let it idle for 30 seconds and then give it full throttle for 10 seconds and it'll get you nearly to 180 degrees every single time all righty guys so let's go ahead and remove the valve cover it's just one t27 Take you a screwdriver and pop it. It'll come right off. Now, what we need to do, we need to get the engine in the correct position to adjust our valves. And the way you do that is, is you find your ignition coil and you come down here and you find the, the screw that holds the ignition coil on, not this one, but the bottom one. And if we look on the flywheel, let me, uh, let me zoom in there and get a little light on this so we can see what we're doing. Now I'm going to pull this engine through. You can take the spark plug out, but let's just pull this engine through with the starter until we find our timing mark. And this arrow coming up right here, you want that pointing right at that screw. Now, your valves should be both loose or at where they need to be. As you can tell, we are a little loose on the adjustment. Now we can tell that the exhaust side is super loose and so is the intake. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a 5 16 or 8 millimeter wrench and turn these clockwise to loosen or to uh, make the gap smaller between the rocker arm and the valve and to loosen this nut would make the gap wider. So we're already wide, so we need to tighten it to make the gap less. The actual amount that you're going to turn this nut is not going to be much at all. So just turn it in. Just so slight. And as you can tell, we are just right there. We're at slight drag, just barely any drag at all. And that's what you want. And this one is loose. So let's go ahead and tighten it up. Like I said, it's not going to be a whole bunch of turning of the, the nut, just a fraction. And then we have slight drag. And if we turn the engine over, you should see the compression release.
come up right before top dead center on the compression stroke. Pop that valve open. I highly, highly, highly recommend whenever you do a valve adjustment on one of these is that you replace uh, the gasket and the little copper sealing washer. And if we look, here is your 10 thousandths gauge. And I'm gonna turn the page here. Here is the part number to the valve clearancing kit comes with 13, 16, and 17. And there is the part number right there. I'll link this uh, part number below and uh, you could go on my Amazon page and buy this kit if that's what you need. And just remember that if you use my link, it doesn't cost you a dime. Hey guys, I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and smash that bell so you'll get all my new videos. Anyway, we'll catch you guys on the next one.